Hi, Leos. This is your love and relationship reading. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Okay, so Leos, you guys had a jumping card this month. And it is unspoken feelings. So I feel like your partner wants you to know something that they're not speaking up on. Maybe you guys are separated or you're just not talking right now. And they're doing a lot of thinking behind the scenes and they're just not telling you um of course if you guys aren't speaking then you're not going to know what this person is feeling and thinking but there's a lot of unspoken feelings about where you guys relationship is headed for some of you this could be a marriage um but i just feel like someone is not speaking up on something someone could be very stubborn it's like they don't want to be the first to open up or they don't want to be the first to reach out Okay, depending on what actually happened here, everyone's situation is going to be different. Um, okay, so let's see. In this top row, we have cold shoulder. We have ex lover. We have ghosted. So cold shoulder, ex lover, ghosted, and lies. Hmm. Okay, so Leo's. Take it as it resonates, okay? This could be you or this could be your partner feeling this way. Someone was giving the other person the cold shoulder, but it had everything to do with an ex, okay? I feel like an ex came back either into your life and you were giving your partner the cold shoulder or an ex came back into your partner's life and they were giving you the cold shoulder. They could have ghosted you, walked away, um, and this person lied about some things, okay? Now, I'm seeing this in two different ways. For some of you, you, you haven't known this person that long. They may have told you if you asked them, you know, are you seeing someone, you know, they could have said, okay, I broke up with someone, you know, we're done. I'm no longer seeing this person, but I feel like they lied about that. I feel like they were still seeing this person or if they broke up with them, it was temporary. And it's like when they decided to get back with this person, they just walked away from you without telling you okay so for some of you this could be an internet connection um internet relationship that you have with this person they may live at a distance okay now for others i feel like someone can it's like you were with you're with this person now and their ex is trying to come back into their lives and it's like they're they're bouncing back and forth between you and this person but you're realizing something is wrong you're noticing their behavior is different and it's like now they're giving you the cold shoulder. It's like their behavior has changed, okay? So you already, some of you already have a connection with this person. You've been with this person for years or, you know, a long time. This isn't new to you. This person isn't new to you. This connection isn't new. But there's an ex that came back into their life. And so they're trying to spend time with you and with this person and they're not letting you know this, okay? So there's some lies somewhere up in here. But I'm already picking up the energy, and I haven't even gotten into the tarot card reading yet, that somebody wants to have their cake and eat it too, but you're starting to find out things about this person, or you're starting to notice something about them, and it's like you're trying to get to the bottom of what is actually going on with them. Because I feel like you're asking this person questions, and they're not answering you, or they're trying to hide it. All right, so on this bottom row, we have there's still hope forgiven okay so maybe some of you found out about a third party i love you and messages so some of you could have found out about this third party and the universe is saying there's still hope for you and your person to work things out even though you may not feel that way this person still loves you i feel like you love them you may not be talking to this person right now leo if you're not talking to this person um, you're going to get a message from them, a text message, okay? Something's going to unfold this month where you could get a text message from them and that opens up um, communication for you guys because this message card is all about communication in some form, okay? It could be a text message, it could be a phone call, but this person is going to get in contact with you if you haven't been talking to them. So this breakup is temporary. This person still loves you and they're not going to let you go, but the issue here okay so first of all they want to be forgiven for whatever happened here okay and the universe feels like it's still hope for you guys right but this is the deciding factor it's like they're gonna have to shut this person down like shut them all the way down because i feel like some of you found out something about 
um, a third party or someone that they were dealing with and they may have told you that they're not dealing with this person anymore. So I feel like they lied to you, but they were still offering love to someone else. All right, so let's get into your reading, Leos, and let's see what else the universe has to say about your situation. I do see some of you guys coming back together with your partner this month. I mean, you may not want to. You may say, I'm not coming back together with this person, but I feel like some of you are going to talk to this person and hear them out. Some of you may give them a second chance and others, you may just want a new beginning altogether. So we'll see what comes out in your tarot card reading. Spirit, what messages do you have for Leos for the month of October? Spirit, what messages? Oh, tell me what to flop out. Wow. Okay, I'll take them. It's three. So we have the King of Wands. So you pulled your card right off the deck. Nine of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Hmm. Huh. Okay, so some of you are dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Dio, Sagittarius, so this could be your energy, okay? You're taking charge this month. Um, you're very confident about what what you want. So whatever it is that you want, you're confident about it. This person is not going to be able to talk you out of it. It's like if you want this connection, things have to change, okay? And if you don't want this connection, I feel like some of you are going to walk away. We have the Nine of Wands here. So it's like you've been waiting on this person, Okay, with this clock here, you've been waiting on them to do something, to change, to um, make the situation right. We also have the Ace of Wands. Okay, so there's going to be, I said for some of you, there's still going to be a new beginning here because of this Ace of Wands. So it's like you guys are going to talk through, like talk through this situation and come up with some type of um, compromise for some of you. Now for others, if you don't want this person back then I feel like there is going to be a new beginning for you. You're just going to walk away and start, with, you know, start new with someone else or just decide to be by yourself until you figure things out. All right, so let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for Leos? What messages do you have for Leos? What do they need to know about this situation for the month of October? All right, so we have two flip out. Wow. The sun and the ten of swords. Someone stabbed you in the back, betrayed you, okay? Some of you could be dealing with a air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a Leo, all right? If you're not dealing with a Leo or an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, I see abundance, prosperity, and good things coming your way. So if you decide to walk away from this person, Leo, you're still going to be good on your own. And if you decide to stay with this person, I feel like there's going to be a change here, okay? What messages do you have for Leos? What messages do you have for Leos? Now, if this is not you feeling this way, Leo, this could be your partner feeling this way. If they're cross-watching, so please reverse the roles as need be. Yeah, seven of swords. Someone was being sneaky. Some of you are dealing with someone who was being sneaky. Um, they may have walked away from you to, to be with someone else or they stopped talking to you. We have the nine of swords here. If someone is up in their head about this connection. They're afraid. They're insecure and they're worrying that things are done. So I feel like you have somebody afraid here, Leo, or either this is the other way around. Like I said, take it as it resonates. But someone had a lot of secrets. They walked away possibly to an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, or your partner is an air sign. And I feel like you have no idea where this connection is headed or what this person's intentions are. Some of you are not talking to this person is what I'm picking up on. I'm also picking up on the energy for some of you that things will, um, it's like things will move into a more committed situation this month. It's like once you have a conversation, I keep picking that energy up for some of you. I feel like you're not talking to this person now. You needed some space and time to think something through. So we have the Knight of Cups in the Tower. Yeah, I'm telling you. Listen, with this Knight of Cups, okay, some of you could be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, right? Um, and we also have Scorpio energy here with the tower. Some After a tower moment that you go through with this person, it's going to actually open up the door for you guys to have a better understanding of what you want and need from each other or what you're able to give in this connection. So someone, I'm picking up the energy that someone wants to be, Someone wants a more committed situation and someone doesn't know what they want. And so that's the confusion here. But with the Knight of Cups and the Tower, neither one of you are giving up on this. Somebody is coming back in because they're they're not going to let you go. 
they're definitely not whether they're talking to you or not they could be being stubborn and just not saying nothing to you but they don't want to let this connection go they're trying to see what you're going to do and i think you're waiting to see what they're going to do is what i'm getting here from the cards yeah it's like someone okay someone's leaving a third party for good but if it's a karmic they're not going to um let them go easy they're going to feel left out by your partner they're going to feel left out in the cold but the universe is going to split them up because this union is not you know it's not a blessed union it's not blessed or cared for we have the two of cups this person is definitely coming back your direction this is a soulmate connection for some of you with this two of cups some of you could be dealing with the water sign cancer Pisces, scorpio but if not with the knight of cups the tower and the two of cups it's like you go through this tower situation with this person leo's you guys take some time apart and then this person comes right back in with the knight of cups and the two of cups because they're not gonna let you go now you may not want to be with this person anymore you may just want to you know go your own way but knight of wands can't make it up fire sign aries Leo, sagittarius for some of you okay so some of you could be dealing with another fire sign but if not like this is not going to end some of you may want it to end though <laughs> some of you may be like I, I don't want this person back you know depending on what they did to you spirit what messages do you have for leos what messages do you have for leos what does Leo need to know about their partner? Okay. These cards are falling all over the deck today. Some of you are definitely dealing with another Leo. Patience, power, struggle. Like, this person is trying to find the strength to come back to you. We also have the Queen of Swords and the High Priestess. Yeah, they have a lot of hidden knowledge. Okay, what was that card they jumped to that? Here, here we are. I have so many cards over here. I'm trying not to let them slide off the table. All right, so we have unspoken feelings. We have the High Priestess. Major Arcana and the Queen of Swords. I feel like you may have cut this person off because you found out they were cheating. Okay. For some of you, it is an air sign. Libra Gemini Aquarius is a lot of air in this reading, or either you're just in your head about this person. They have a lot of secrets. They have a lot of hidden knowledge. There are things that this person is not telling you. Okay. They seem mysterious because they're not speaking up. You don't know what their intentions are. It's just everything is silent between you and this person for some of you. With this unspoken feelings, you may be thinking that this person is done. You may be thinking that things are over. You haven't heard from them. They haven't heard from you. Okay? It's not over. <laughs> I just want you to know. It's not over. They're trying to figure out how to either come back to you, what to say when they do contact you, because they're going to contact you. Okay? It's not about if they contact you. It's about what they're going to say when they do. Because it's like this person hates to deal with their feelings and emotions. Some of you are dealing with someone who they don't like they don't like conflict so they know that you don't care about conflict you're like bring it let's discuss it let's talk about it let's get it out on the table right that's your energy all day every day their energy is totally different and i feel like this person is running away from you because they don't want to discuss it and it could be because they're the cause of all the issues and the problems or it's like they don't know what to say i feel like this person is a bit afraid of afraid of you not afraid of you like scared well no yeah they are <laughs> it's like they don't know what to say i feel like once you and this person get into an argument it's like you shut them down because once you start going and once you start spilling facts and telling them about everything that has been going on what they've been doing how it's been making you feel and you just go on and on and on and i feel like this person they don't have a comeback they don't know what to say because they know they screwed things up but they still love you and they still want to be with you that's the thing and i feel like if you didn't shut this person down, they could have shut you down. Remember, take the situation how it resonates for you because everyone's story is going to be different. But they're not going to let this in. Some of you um, guys are dealing with someone who's experiencing some terrible trauma right now, but they're hiding it from you. But you'll notice it because of their attitude, um, their dark demeanor, like just being distant and cold and aloof and not having much to say spirit what messages do you have for leos what messages do you have for leos we have the five of pentacles somebody is losing faith okay 
Um, some of you could be dealing with an earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. They feel like this is over. They feel like you left them out in the cold or you could be feeling this way about them. And here we are with the Queen of Wands. Okay. So like I said, you're very confident. I feel like you've had time to think about the situation, Leos, and you know what it is that you want to do and how you want to move forward. But the thing about it is you refuse to reach out to this person. But as soon as they reach out to you, you're going in. <laughs> you're going in on this person and you're going off. And I feel like they know this. And it's like, either they don't want to hear what you have to say because they know they were the cause of this situation. So they're like, well, damn, I don't want to hear what Leo got to say. But at some point, I got to reach out to them. And because they know that they still love you and they want to be with you. So at some point, they're going to have to swallow their pride and their ego and reach out to you. And I feel like some of you are dealing with someone who has a bigger ego and a pride issue than you do, or either they're more stubborn than you are, but it's like you're stubborn too and you're prideful. So it's like when you guys get together, it's a little crazy. So we have the three of wands. Yeah, you're waiting. You're waiting to get some clarity. We have the Four of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. There was heartbreak here, sadness. Something was very painful. I feel like it was a breakup and it was very painful. Either someone ghosted you and you don't know what's going on with them. And so it's like you're, you, re you refuse to reach out to this person, but you feel it. I feel like some of you know at some point this person is going to reach out to you. And everything that you have to say to them, it's like you're holding on to it. And you're like, oh, as soon as they reach out to me, I'm going to let them have it. <laughs> it's like, and they know it. We have the judgment. We have the world. Two major arcana. So with the world card, things end it, but there's a chance for a new beginning with this judgment. Just when you thought things were over and there was nothing else to become of this situation, there's a rebirth and a resurrection. And you guys are going to get back on track or are you going to um, make the attempt? Okay. Because neither one of you want this to end. I feel like whoever was in the wrong here is hiding out. Does that make sense? Because that's how I'm feeling. It's like they're hiding out because they know that you're angry. We have the five of cups here. Breakup, regret, loss. This person is regretting a lot of things that they did to you, Leo. Okay. Somebody's in heavy regret here. It's like some of you are experiencing some real tough times, possibly depression, sadness, not eating much or sleeping. This energy won't last for long, though. Something is almost over. It's a cycle that you're in that's almost over. We have temperance and we have the Knight of swords. So some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, okay, that's rushing back into you. And if they're not a Sagittarius, the energy here is someone is rushing back in because they want to balance this situation out. They're tired of fighting with you. They don't want to argue. They're tired of the silence. It's like they either want to know, is it over? And if it's over, then fine. We can both move on. But if it's not over, then we need to work this out. But some of you are experiencing some, some real tough times. But it's a lesson of self-worth, abundance, and just valuing yourself and knowing your worth here. Fair, what messages do you have for Leos? What messages do you have for Leos? Yeah, the five of swords. See, I feel like somebody was playing games, okay? Somebody was being very manipulative. It was like they were out to win. Even though they were wrong, they just couldn't apologize, say sorry, or just see their fault in this situation. They needed some time to think. I feel like you gave this person more time than they really wanted to think this through because they thought that you were going to reach back out to them or chase after them or something and you're like no if you're gone you're gone like i can replace you because of what they did to you i feel like you're like this is nothing to replace you because what am i losing what am i actually giving up on whatever this person did to you i feel like they broke your heart here um we have the page of cups. So some of you could be dealing with a younger water sign or just someone who's really immature. It's like they don't know how to express their emotions and their feelings. So we have the six of pentacles. They're coming back wanting an equal give and take here. They've been doing a lot of thinking. We have the four of swords. It's like they took a break, but on that break that they took, I feel like this person thought that you were going to call them. You were going to text them. I feel like they were looking at their phone every day, like waiting for a text message to come through. And then when it didn't, I feel like this person started getting scared. We have the King of Pentacles here and we have the Justice card. So some of you could be dealing with a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn and you're going to get justice in this situation. 
And like I said, if this is not you feeling this way, Leo, this could be your partner feeling this way about you if you're cross-watching. But there's going to be justice here in the end. And you're going to be able to deal with something and move on. Because somebody knows that they have to change. Yeah, because we have the death card, the two of pentacles, and the nine of cups as the next three cards here. So some of you could be dealing with the Scorpio, but if not, there's change and transformation coming. Okay, this person was juggling for quite some time. They didn't know whether they wanted you or someone else. They were letting an ex come in between you guys. But this person is realizing that you're their wish fulfillment and they're not giving up on you. They're not going to give up on you at all. All right, so let's pull some Oracle cards and let's see what else the universe has to say about this situation. I feel like somebody is scared. Like I said, they're either scared to talk to you, Leo, or they're scared as to what's going to happen with this connection. They know they have to change or do something different or let go of someone and it's not going to be easy for them, but they're going to do it because they don't want to lose you. Spirit, what messages, what messages do you have for Leo's? What messages do you have for Leo's? Oh, oh that wanted to fall. I wanted to get married and have your kids, but I don't feel this way anymore. So some of you, I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh, y'all. But I feel like some of you plans on having a family with this person. That's how you saw them. It's like, I wanted to get married and have your kids, but I don't feel this way anymore. Yeah, because you feel like this person is a liar and you can't trust them. Someone is coming back around. Reconciliation is on the horizon. I told you, they're not letting you go. Okay, they can't. They don't want to. That was not their main goal when they walked away. Their main goal was thinking, okay, well, I'm going to walk away. I'm not going to talk to him or I'm not going to talk to her. And then they're going to text me or call me, chase me around. And then I guess we'll work things out. And then when you were like, no, the hell I'm not, this person got scared. I will never forget the love we shared. Okay, so this is for some of you who haven't talked to this person in quite some time somebody's coming back around for you in the month of october if this person has not resurfaced yet just wait they're coming you are my king i will always put you first divine masculine okay so someone is realizing that anyone else that they're dealing with does not compare to you okay male or female energy I'm sick of your narcissistic ways when it comes to love. So you're sick of the way someone feels like it's their way or the highway all the time and they won't compromise with you. Or like they do something wrong to you and it's like they don't see their see where they went wrong or see their fault in this. I'm so confused by the things you say and the actions that follow. So I feel like someone is telling you one thing and then they're doing another. So you may be asking this person, are we good? Are we going to move forward? Are we going to, you know, make things right and work together and get on track? And they're like, yeah, we're going to do that. And the next thing you know, you don't hear from this person for a couple of days. They don't call you. They don't text you. And then they just pop back up like nothing's wrong. You are enlightened by a situation and now you're ready to make a choice between two people. So some of you have a choice between two. Okay, no, this is not your partner. This could be you feeling this way. Maybe you have a choice between your partner and someone else. And you're trying to decide this month whether you're going to allow this person to come back into your life or you're going to move on with someone new. We also have, there is so much chaos and drama between us. How did we get to this space? So I feel like a lot of you are going through something and you did not see it coming. Okay, you didn't expect it. I feel like things were going good. And then all of a sudden, things fell apart. But you know, when this happens, you guys did get the tower in this reading, I believe. And you know, when that happens, that is the universe coming in to tear something apart because it's not stable. It's not grounded. And when the universe comes in to tear it down, it gives you a chance to either rebuild or walk away. You have a choice. Okay, so if you want to work on something, you know, you can rebuild with this person. But if not, then you can also walk away from it. Now we have, I know I said I was walking away, but we have kids together, so it won't be easy. So some of you have a family and you feel like you can't just give up on your kids or the person that you're dealing with, or they feel this way about you. I looked you up, saw your picture and realized after all these years, I still love you. So this is for someone who hasn't talked to someone in a minute. Okay, and you may think this person forgot about you, but they're still looking at your pictures. They're still reading old text messages and you're still on their mind. 
And then we have clearing away people in your life that no longer serve a purpose. So some of you are letting someone go or you may be letting multiple people go because you're like, you know what? This shit got to make sense. If it doesn't make sense, I don't want it and I'm not dealing with it. And the last card I have is I wish we didn't argue over everything. I just want peace. Okay, so this could be you saying this or your partner saying this to you, but somebody just wants peace. They don't want to argue anymore. Let's see, what is the next card? Let me pull one more. The love between you and this person grows deeper after tower moment. Didn't I say that earlier? I'm telling you, you cannot make it up. The love between you and this person grows deeper after a tower moment. So whatever happened between you and your partner, I'm picking up the energy, Leo's, that it was meant to happen. Don't fight it, okay? Allow the universe to work this out the way it's meant to be because I feel like you're going to come back together with some per with someone if you choose to. And if not, then you're going to walk away and you're just going to, you know, go with someone else or wait to meet someone else who is um, more connected with you, Okay. So those are the messages that I have for your love and relationship reading. I just want to say thank you for coming to my channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cards Never Lie Tarot. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.